Good morning, internet! Good morning! I want to get a bunch of stuff done at the house, but Jet wants to go run around at this dog park we came to. It is gigantic. And the weather is crappy, so that means that nobody else is here, which is great, because I don't trust his behavior. He's, a uh, He's still got his dog part so that he can make puppies at some point, right? You'll go make puppies someday. And uh, because of that, he's at a certain age now where he starts to get aggressive towards other male dogs. And there's the, it's just the lost cause at this point. So we're going to let him run around. And if another dog shows up, we're going to freak out. So it's going to be good. Are you excited? <gasps> there you go. Now, can I get this from the... Yeah, I can. Cool. All right. Why would you leave your dog waste on the bench? That's so rude. Come on, bud, let's go. Or you can just pee on everything. That's also acceptable. That's like five acres, apparently, that he can just run around on. Off leash, which is really exciting. He can actually be like a dog for a little bit and goof around and probably make a mess and bring you bags. Let me go back and get, they pick up these plastic bags, which is great to know that they have these. And now that I know that these are here, I might just bring some of our plastic bags over here and donate some empty bags to this cause. Are you having too much fun? What are you doing? Where are you going? This ball is out in that field somewhere. I was actually, he was way out there, like way out there. And I sat down and then he looked at me and he was like, what are you doing? I'll come see you. So I gave him a cookie, which he's not eating. Yeah, you. <laughs> he has a great time chasing after the ball, but he doesn't bring it back. Um, this is really the first time that I've had him anywhere off leash for an extended period of time. And this is great because it gives us like five acres to have him just run around and be a dog on. Which is awesome because he deserves that. It's been a long time since, well, it's been forever since I've actually had a place that I could, I've never been able to bring him somewhere where he could just hang out. Well, it's kind of nice. He seems to be enjoying it. Look at that face. There's been a lot of other dogs here at some point because he smells everything. So I think a lot of it is going to be him running around, exploring the whole park, making sure that he said hi to everybody. And then he'll finally be like, all right, we're here. What are we doing? Let's do things. But he's being a good boy. <laughs> what scared you, bud? What was that? <laughs> he's a good dog. He means well. <sighs> I just don't know. Oh man, I gotta go clean that mess up. And uh, now it's time to bring him home for a bath. He's gross. I should probably take a shower, I guess. I don't know. Gross. He's all wet. Wet dog. Look at that little butt. Drooly. He's been running around. Excited because there's other dogs here. Oh, you're gonna stay in the car. Yes. Oh my goodness, there are other dogs. What are you gonna do? Still obsessed with your laser, aren't you? Sorry, I'm eating a vitamin. I was not up there. I don't know where I went. No, we're not up there with your laser. I don't care how adorable you are, unless you're doing the right thing. I need to go paint a wall. We're gonna go upstairs. I'm um, paint a wall right now. Um. The ceiling is done, which is great. So I'm gonna try and paint the wall that the bed's gonna be up against, just for kicks. <laughs> I wish Steve can put it in trim. Well, I guess that won't happen until we do the floor. Oh, and he likes the one on the right, which is really good. As far as floor colors on the floor go. Um, that was towards the end of yesterday's video, if you watched it. I know it was long. <clears throat> but anyway. <sighs> now that we've gone to the dog park, I still need to work out. My legs hurt. I'll get there. Have to do it. This one. I'm gonna paint this whole wall. The whole thing. You guys ready? I'm ready.
One coat down, one coat to go. I think, I might do two. I should probably do two. It looks really good though. I wonder what it looks like if I turn the light on. Boop, boop. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It still looks wet, is what it looks like. But it looks good. So that wall is gonna be that color, and then whenever I get around to sanding this mess, it's gonna be the same color. I did not sand it, like sand and paint at the same time because I came in and I did another layer of wet. Like that's still wet. I'm trying to see. There's still wet here. Wet, 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 wet. So I have to wait for that to completely dry before I can do anything to it. Because if I try, that's just gonna make a mess. So I think that looks really good. That looks really, really, really good. Oh, that's exciting. Now, obviously you can see, if you're really paying attention, that the top is not quite perfect, right? I cut as good as I could, but it's it's not perfect. And you know what, that's okay. Cause I'm putting up trim. <laughs> the places that I'm not putting up trim though, and I'll have to finagle, are the corners. So all of this has to get cleaned up. Um, but for right now, it's okay, because I'm not painting this wall yet. I could. I very well could. I need to wash it though. So it's gonna be a little bit. I'll do it one step at a time. Maybe I'll paint those tomorrow. Maybe I'll wash them tonight. And I'll paint them tomorrow. That would be cool. Cause then I would have most of the paint up. I'll think about it. For now, I'm gonna sit down. Oof. I'll think about it. Hmm. Maybe I should. I really need to sand that wall. That one over there it needs to be sanded. That's like a thing on my list. <sighs> but I might be able to paint the other two. Cause everything else, I like I've sanded everything except for the floor. The floor is not sanded. But like as far as the walls go, the walls are ready to get paint. Which would be really good cause as soon as they get paint, then we can do other stuff. What I think I'm, I'm really pushing for is that when Steve comes back, he can sand the floor. <laughs> which I think is what I'm really pushing for. Cause I just go to work this weekend and he doesn't. So maybe when he comes back, he can stay on this floor and then we can finish the floor. I need to go to Lowe's at some point. Uh, maybe I'll do it tonight. I need to return the um, color we're not gonna use because we've decided on Jaco Bean and not the red oak. So I can bring the, red, the tiny little can of red oak back. Sounds like five bucks. And I need to bring back the giant tub of wood filler because we're not gonna use the stainable stuff. I think I'm gonna go and buy a couple of little cans of ebony. Um, so it's a really dark color. Cause like some of these have holes. So like you can see all the way over here, we have some holes to fill. And then some of them, the lines are just really thick. And I think I mentioned this yesterday, but I don't want to have to clean garbage out of those cracks. So if we fill it with a wood filler before we polyurethane, then it will create one glossy coat over the entire thing and it should seal up a bunch of that stuff. Um, there's a couple of nails that need to be pushed in and there's a couple of boards that stick up a little bit that we could probably hammer down. So there's a couple little things that we need to do. But aside from that, I am so excited to get this floor done. We are very close to end game guys. I mean, Look. I'm excited about my trim too. So that's not arriving until, well, it's leaving uh, California on the 16th of May. We're not even gonna be here, I don't think, but this is my trim. Ta-da! It goes up like this. You could, if you really wanted to, put it up like this, but I wanna put it, I'm gonna be different. I'm gonna make it more of a ceiling mount. So if we climb up, let's go up this ladder. Here's a corner. I know I just painted this, so this is probably dangerous, but this is what my trim is gonna look like. Ta-da! Yep, just like that, all the way around the room. It's gonna be great, I love it. It's gonna look great. And then we'll use a little bit of caulking on both the bottom and the top, just to clean it up. Ta-da! It's gonna look good. I'm really excited. And that cleans up all of that mess. Ta-da, this looks good. I went and pushed in the lights. I don't know if you can see it, but <laughs> the lights were sticking out, a couple of them were, and the only one that I haven't fixed is that one over there. That one's sticking out a little bit. I went for a run, everything hurts. 
I did 2.25 miles today. At least I think that's the measurement I'm getting. Either way, 2.25. That includes my cool down and my warm up though. So I don't know. Either way, that's all done. It's a start. <laughs> the way that I'm looking at this. So anyway, um, there's one more thing I want to do. Like, I've got my list done for today, which is great. I love this book. At some point, I'm going to talk about this book. Anyway, um, let's go look at... Oh, the bottom of this thing popped out. Well, that's not supposed to happen. Let's go look at this room that I have painted today. Da -da 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 -da. Whoa. Huge difference, right? Gigantic difference. Even the color is like, I don't know what to do with this room. <laughs> it's such a better color than this yellow that was in here. And I can already see that the like beautiful nature of the reflectiveness of the colors looks great. So tonight, I'm gonna start uploading footage, at least so that it's in the computer so that I can go ahead and edit. But I'm going to wash this wall with the window so that I can go ahead and get that painted tomorrow. I was thinking about sanding this, but I'd kind of like to give it like overnight to really dry because I can still feel some moisture in here. So I'm gonna let that dry completely before I go ahead and tear into it tomorrow. Oh, it's been a weird day. I've been in a very strange headspace. Um, hopefully I can get up tomorrow and tomorrow will be better. Not every day is going to be a winner. As long as I keep doing work, better than nothing. <laughs> Can't just sit around and lay around in a ball. I had to force myself to get out of the house to go run. But at least I did it. I did it. All right, so that's it. That's my day. I'll paint it a wall blue. Very blue. Like, whoa, very blue. Um, I will, <coughs> the website, <coughs> I'm gonna make this public so that Steve has to get held to it. The website is going to completely change on May 1st. And then I should be able to start writing blog posts that will go with these videos. Not every video is gonna have a blog post because we do daily videos and I'm gonna do weekly posts. But I will start talking about like products we're using and the colors I picked and all that stuff. So all of that is going to go on the website, alienate.com, and that should change on May 1st. That's my goal. Um, It's not wood. It's like a piece of styrofoam of some kind. I'm tired. Hi. Right. Let me apologize now for all of the things. All of them. It looks good though. I mean, the wall's not perfect. I mean, you can see a couple of places where it's not perfect, but I don't care. It looks better than it did. And that's awesome. That's a huge plus. And once I put another coat up there, it's gonna look better. And then another coat, because I have to do two coats, because look, this is awful. This is the worst part. I've been taking all of these notes on my wall, and now you can see it through my paint. <sighs> Completely hit the yellow color. Like, I don't see a lot of yellow through this wall, but at 100%, all of my Sharpie is showing. So I'm gonna have to paint over that a couple of times. Two coats on that wall, for sure. Well, I was gonna paint trim today too, but I need to like, really wash it and vacuum it and I didn't get to it. All right, I'm gonna go put this together and uh, call it a night and stuff and things. So thanks for hanging out guys, I really appreciate it. It has been a pleasure hanging out with you, um, as always. And thank you for sticking around because there's not a lot of you left. <laughs> but for the ones that are here, you guys are the best, seriously. I really appreciate having you.